Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and as the title would suggest, this is going to be a Goodwill run. It's really a series of Goodwill runs that have been compiled, and uh, there's a lesson to be learned in this video, and uh, we'll get to that towards the end. We're going to start out with a series of Goodwills here in the Pacific Northwest, my usual stomping grounds, the uh, the, the, C the Seattle-Tacoma area, the SeaTac area, some other outlying areas, and uh, yeah, you'll see you'll see what you usually see in my Goodwill run. So let's let's take a look at that footage. Got back from the dentist. Now I'm at a Goodwill, wandering about. There's a there's a fair amount of interesting stuff here. There's actually a, uh, an infamous that looks like it's led a rough life. And if they didn't want ridiculous amount, I might get it. There's a modulus down there. Some Roblox. That thing, which I think is a gel blaster. Might be more on the other side. Let's take a look. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ooh, a sling fire. I'm not familiar with that one. The ubiquitous Maverick. I was supposed to call my realtor to get a house today. Hmm. Chances of me getting it Good now stuff. is... Good I'm here. I'm here. With welcome and deplorable. Welcome, getting stuff. He's getting stuff. I found stuff, and uh, this place is loaded. But uh, some of the stuff here, they want more than it was new. Twenty dollars for that. But uh, they want twenty bucks for a deploy. I kid you not. I kid you not. 20 bucks for a deploy. Highway robbery. Anyway, a rather impressive spread here. Kind of, oh, wow. I haven't seen one of those in a while. And I got one of them. We got some of that. One of those. I don't know what that is. $10 moto strike. I might grab that. Flare gun. Might grab that one too, actually. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The ubiquitous Maverick. Might grab that one too. Yeah. Uh -huh. Not bad. So yeah, what we're used to seeing. Aisles full to bursting with toys and, and lots of nerf blasters in most of them. Sometimes there aren't that many. And you know, when I say there's not much here, it's usually, you know, half a dozen or so that is still there and you know, all of that. But uh, then I got on a plane. And I flew to Baltimore uh, for an HVZ. And then I stayed there for two weeks for a, a friend's wedding, uh, as I'll mention later on in the video. And uh, well, I went goodwilling, of course. And uh, I'll give you my thoughts after that. Right, I'm on a goodwill run in Baltimore. I'm joined by Sergeant Spectre of the N7s, the British contingent of the Auxiliary, who... We both came to hunt the zombies. The zombies have been hunted. We're now waiting for a wedding and we're bored, so we're gonna do a Goodwill run in Baltimore. I've He's never ne been to a Goodwill. Never been to a Goodwill! I'm gonna take him to a Goodwill. I will it if I can. <laughs> we shall fight the hobos together. All right, let's see what they got here. I am not impressed. We think this is the entirety of the tour section. There's not so much as a broken maverick. There, there is a giant koala. Do you reckon this is like too big to be a UMBC legal throwable? <laughs> I think the uh, hard plastic eyes would probably be uh, oh, an era of contention. There is however a pirate ship pinata that should not be overlooked. And <laughs> There is a hammerhead shark chest, that's a thing. Moving on. But that's really cool. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's what we've... It's 12 bucks. And a monkey. No, the, the spark and then, and then, and then, and then this. Once again, nary so much as a broken maverick. No wonder you were all so amazed by my good wounds. 
anyway, we're gonna keep trying because I got nothing better to do today. Given our utter lack of success at the current uh, first two Goodwills, we've taken to trolling Dollar Generals for uh, potential throwable ammo and Lego minifigures. And this man impeculiated my ability to feel out what's in them. Okay. We shall see if I am vindicated. We shall see. Finally, the sweet taste of victory. <laughs> There's a car for Brett here, though. <laughs> or maybe for Reaper. I'd, I'd true, have to respray it red. To right, it's, it's already in setting. Brett's colors. So. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, I mean, I'm gonna take the strong arm. Well, all right then. Um, mostly because I feel I should take at least something, something. from a goodwill. So, the goal here was to get so much nerf that he would have to take another suitcase, and this is what we've come up with. And also, of course, we're only three in. I mean, on the other hand, if I get a strong arm, Reaper will never let me forget it. Oh yeah. 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 Be because strong arms are just like, are like, like, wait, we're on YouTube, I can't swear. Uh, strong arms are like the rubbish version of the disruptor, so I'm gonna get the dog ball launcher instead. Good choice. We're trying to find ammo for a dog ball launcher, but we haven't had any luck with that either. Twangity. Twang. Nah, let's get out of here. You have to wait for me to actually say the words. <laughs> All right, Goodwill number three. We finally found a thing. Now we can get ice cream. You can. You can. There you have it. England now has a space program. But uh, this place doesn't have so much as a broken Maverick. I don't think that. Do you reckon that's like 120 FPS? Uh, it might. It might. Three bucks. Worth it for giggles? Might be, might be. Goodwill number whatever we're up to. Four. Four. We did, in fact. Get the, it, it's making a run for it. We got the thing. Lovely. Don't. I don't want to. We're, you we're can't make me. We're going into this Goodwill. I don't want to. It's you a good can't one. make me. You, I can. I haven't had all my shots. You can't make me. <laughs> Aim for their knees. It's the only way to get away from them. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I don't have to be faster than them. I have to be faster than you. Which you probably are, because I got Geronimo! I'm going to let him go in by himself at this point. I don't want to go into Goodwill Island either. That was, without a doubt, the cleanest, least terrifying Goodwill outlet I have ever been in. I don't know what all the fuss is about. I, I feel, I'm slightly disappointed. I feel this man has not been properly traumatized. I object. He did find a thing. Found a thing? A thing? What was the other thing? You found another thing. Oh, I, I found this very cool thing. You found some face jewelry. Show them the thing. I'm showing them the thing. It goes on the face. It's, it's pretty, it's actually, it's really cool. It's a skull. It's, a skull. it's metal. It's very cool. I dig it. And it's there black it. and red, so it's in my colors. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. And and you provide the white. <laughs> Excuse and me. And we're off! Five dollar generals later, and I have had I have victory. I now have thirteen of these. Now you have twelve of them. You monster! Twangity. You gonna turn the camera off before I go get that? No, 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 no. Carry on. This one's going on my OnlyFans. No, seriously, I'm really starting to understand why you guys are so impressed by my goodwill. This is this is just a tragedy. This one's a laser tag. What even is? Is that a te the telescope? It's a scope. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Uh, uh, here it is. Here it is. Oh God. This is getting ridiculous. There's a pig. Is that a pig? I think that's a pig. It's a pig. It looks like a pig. Oh, another car for Brett. <laughs> How do you people live like this? I mean, that, that looks like it fires discs. Yeah, it would fire discs, but there are no discs. There are no discs. So, nope. Alright, now we see if my fingers were accurate. 
I mean, yeah, I mean, so you, the claim is that all the three of these are all the three are the little the knight. little knight, which is what you want for your yes for my army building. Sure. What do you have? One little knight. Okay, you don't need to put the whole thing together. I will yes, I do. I will stipulate that that is a knight. <laughs> There's one. There's two. Also another knight. Yes, okay. And... Also a knight. Fine. You win. Uh-huh. You may have uh -huh. a cookie. Ah, hooray! We're, we're... Don't point that thing at me! This is part of the same extended trip, but now I'm running amok with a lieutenant instead of sergeant. And, uh... Nothing. Not so much as a broken maverick. Tragic. And what is what what? Oh, it's a thing. It's it's not a thing. I mean, it's a thing, but I understand. I understand. We have finally found something. I'm taking this five dollar strike back with me. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a mean old man, and I'm and I'm smuggling this home. What else we got? Believe them that. Moving on. We found a reactor and one of these. The depravity, the desolation. We have finally, we have finally found the good stuff. I finally found, after all these, all these trips, I found the ubiquitous Maverick. I knew it had to be here somewhere. Whatever that is. You know, I really wish I had the room for this. Because it's a proton pack. I'd rather put a proton pack in this proton pack. I may have to look into this. I may, this may become my carry-on. <laughs> So yeah, as soon as I got home, I of course had to go uh, relive the good times. I returned home and I was picked up by Crewman Rocket and I asked him to immediately take me to a Goodwill so I could remember what a proper good Goodwill is like. So here's the toy aisle in some random Goodwill in an industrial park in the Seattle area. Yes. Yeah. Oh, the ubiquitous Maverick. And there's even more stuff over here. More stuff over there. More stuff here. It's good to be home. I'm actually gonna get some stuff. There's some good stuff here. And then even more. Some more of that. The ubiquitous Maverick. It's good to have you back, my friend. A couple of those, a couple of those. <sighs> yeah, it's good to be home. Train! So the lesson here is about taking things for granted because I really had gotten used to the way Goodwills are here in the Pacific Northwest where the toy aisles are just full to bursting of, with, with toys and, and, and always a, a large variety of Nerf blasters, sometimes less than others, but never none. It was rarely that I ever go to a Goodwill and find nothing here in the Pacific Northwest. So, um, and so, and, and some, but I'd seen comments from people who say, oh, my Goodwill never has anything. And I was always kind of like, what do you mean it doesn't have anything? Surely it's got something. There's got to at least be a Maverick or something. Um, you know, surely there were, you know, five strifes for five bucks each, but surely there's something. And now I understand that, n no, there may in fact be lots of Goodwills with nothing. It was weird and kind of disconcerting. Um, but uh, has given me a, a new appreciation for the, the joy and the wonders that I have in my area. And I've got all kinds of hypotheses as to why that might be the case, uh, but nothing that I could, you know, with enough evidence or information to, to even put together even any sort of a credible theory, but I'm sure it would be a fascinating sociological study of why the goodwills and the 
Baltimore, Washington, D.C. area are so much different than the the Pacific Northwest, the Seattle, Olympia, Portland area, and even as far as, you know, Spokane, which is the opposite side of the state, their Goodwills have the same vibe of the ones here, which was completely different than the, uh, the vibe over there. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, appreciate the good things that you have, because there are those that might not have them. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, let's take a look at the loot. So from the Pacific Northwest runs, I had a, a, a good variety. I got uh, an X-Shot shotgun, the Dinosaur one. I like that. I've always been a fan of the uh, Zombie Strike Clear Shot. At least I think that's what this one's called. Picked up the Mega Hot Shock. Always grab those. They were not common in stores, and so I grab them when I can get them. Um, did find a Zombie Strike. Magnus, and I never pass those up either. Um, I modded my flare gun and it never quite performed as well, so I was glad that I was able to find another one. Um, I may leave this one stock or I may upgrade the spring, just not with as heavy a spring as I put in the previous one. Found a takedown. They are lovely, really hard to go wrong with them, so I grabbed it. I did buy that $10 Moto Strike. Uh, I, I want to get one of these modded up. Uh, just because I haven't modded one yet, and I think it would be pretty schnazzy to have a, a Mega. I might minimize it, make myself a uh, kind of a, a bolter sort of thing. So, we'll see. Are these full auto? No. Good. Okay. Actually, it does have battery. And then I found two different knockoff strifes. One by Confi, and one by... Holy key. Holy key? Holy key. I don't know. Um, they're slightly different. This one's much more has the shell of a strife. This one has a, a lot more modifications. The grip is different. The magwell is different. Uh, other than that, they're very similar. This one's very much a strife. Uh, this one does not have a proper stock attachment point. This one does. They both seem to have the right barrel attachment point, though. They also both have Picatinny rail instead of Nerf rail. But they also both appear to be select fire. They have a very similar switch. It's got off, one, three, and N. I'm not sure what N stands for, but I'm assuming that's semi-auto, three round burst, full auto. I don't know because I, I don't have batteries for them. They have rechargeable batteries that I may have a charger for. I'll have to check. At worst case scenario, I uh, rewire it, but I would like to uh, not burn out that select fire board if it is in fact select fire because that is would be pretty snazzy if they are in fact select fire um, so that's what i got from the pacific northwest and then for all of my journeys on the east coast i did manage to come up with four more of the mega x or rival mega xl as that's what i'm calling them because they look like an enormous rival ball they fit perfectly in the dog ball launchers and uh, I now have enough of them to actually be able to run them in a loadout. But for the longest time, I only had three, which really wasn't enough. Now I've got 15. So, And then I picked up a Strife. So, yeah, altogether, definitely a successful series of Goodwill runs and Dollar General runs. Dollar General is the only place I've ever found these. Um, though you can get them online, but they, they're not uh, really an economically viable option. But, uh, yeah. So... Yeah, fascinating look at the difference between Goodwills and different locations. It was it was it was eye opening, and I'm I'm glad I, I got the chance to do it. So um, I sympathize with those of you that are in areas that don't have the same level of Goodwills that we have here in the Pacific Northwest, and, and in other places I've seen them have similar, but uh, definitely the the quality of the ones up here are uh, seem to be pretty pretty impressive and i should not take that for granted as much as i have in the past so there you have it hope you guys enjoyed this i had a lot of fun on the trip uh, there will probably be more info on the trip at some point there may not be we'll see but uh i do have i do want to i want to do some fun stuff so stay tuned and thank you guys for watching